Today I'm going to illustrate how to perform a basic startup on the Danfoss VLT automation drive. Using the main menu parameters, I'm going to change parameter 003 by pressing main menu, entering group 0, 0 0, and then using the up and down arrow keys to locate parameter 003. This is the regional settings parameter. I'm going to change it from the default setting of international to US. This is going to put the drive in North American defaults. Next I'm going to use the quick menu key and enter Q2 quick setup. I'm going to use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through, scroll through the parameters in the quick setup group. The English language is correct so I'm going to move on by pressing the down arrow. Next is parameter 121. It's asking me to set up the motor horsepower. I'm going to enter the correct horsepower for the connected motor. In my case, it's 0.75 horsepower. Pressing the down arrow to move on to the next parameter, I'm going to enter the motor voltage. 230 is the correct voltage for my motor, so I'm going to press the down arrow to move on. Motor frequency is 60 hertz. Motor current is 2.9 amps. Press the OK key, OK key to highlight the parameter. Make the change to 2.9 amps. Press OK to accept. I'm going to press the down arrow to move to the next parameter. Motor speed. My motor nameplate indicates that this motor has a speed of 1735 RPM. So I'll enter that here. Press the OK key accept and then move on. Terminal 27 is the default safety input and must be closed or connected to 24 volts in order for the drive to run. If you want to use that safety, you can wire in the safety contact between terminals 12 and 27 on the drive. If you want to disable it, I can change the setting to no operation, which I'll do in our case. Moving on to the next parameter, it's asking the minimum speed reference. I'm going to leave that set at 0 RPMs. Move on to set the maximum at 1800 RPMs, which is equivalent to a 60 hertz frequency on a four pole motor. The next per two parameters in line 341 and 342 are the ramp times. These are going to be based on full motor speed. Three seconds from zero to 60 hertz, three seconds from 60 hertz to zero. The reference site parameter 313 is going to be left to linked to hand slash auto. Only in rare cases that needs to be changed. Automatic motor adaptation. This is going to allow me to perform what we call an AMA or a motor tuning on the motor. To perform this I'm going to enter enable complete AMA and press the OK key. It's going to tell me to press the hand down button to start. Once the AMA tuning sequence has been complete, it's going to say press the OK key to finish. The quick setup is now complete. There are two more steps to getting the drive ready for a startup. Using the main menu, I'm going to go to parameter group 6, analog in and out. I'm going to go to analog input 1, and I'm going to find parameter 615. This is the high reference value that will correspond with the 10 volt signal. Right now the scaling of the speed command on analog input 53 is 0 0.07 or essentially 0 volts to 10 volts is equivalent to 0 to 1500 RPM. We want to set this to 1800 RPM so 10 volts indicates max speed. Now the drive is ready for operation. To get it to run, we need to place it in auto on. I'm going to press status so we can see the status screen. Standby means that the drive is waiting for a start command. I'm going to close a contact between VFD terminal 12, which is 24 volts, and digital input 18, which is the default start command on the drive. When I close that contact, the drive is going to start running. It's going to follow the speed command Based on my 0 to 10 volt signal, I have connected to analog input 53. The wiring for that connection goes between terminal 53 and terminal 55, which is the 0 volt common. As I increase and decrease my 0 to 10 volt signal, you're going to see the drive goes from 0 to 100% reference.
which based on our scaling is 0 RPM to 1800 RPMs. So now if I close the contact between 12 and digital input 18 to start the drive, it's going to run. The speed control is adjusted by the 0 to 10 volt signal. actually display the voltage on analog 53 which is our reference terminal right now you're seeing 10 volts 100% reference 60 Hertz if I adjust that to 5 volts 50% reference 30 Hertz if I turn that down to 0 volts it's going to ramp all the way down to 0 still running until I remove the start command <laughs> 